Valley Campus project that's yet to be complete. More news starting at 5 right here on NBC Palm Springs News First. I'm Thalia Hayden. Coming up next on Midday News this Friday, College of the Desert leaders are pressed for answers when it comes to their West Valley campus project that's yet to be complete. Plus, see this local server surprise when she finds out she's being awarded $1,000. Jerry. Yeah, a lot of blue skies above us, a few high clouds late in the day, but it'll be a little bit on the toasty side. Very hot and dry weather today, but the temps are going to go down. I'll let you know when that'll happen. Forecast on the way. Another deadly missile strike at a busy Ukrainian train station is fueling fears all while the death toll continues to rise. Plus, a historic day in Washington as the first black woman set to serve on the nation's highest court is honored at the White House. And neighbors of Palm Springs come face to face with COD officials and finally let out their frustrations over broken promises. Today is Friday, April 8th. This is NBC Palm Springs. News first. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. I'm Thalia Hayden alongside Jerry Steffen. Jerry, those temperatures are already creeping up. Yeah, they are uh, getting close to 100 degrees today, like yesterday. And we'll have one more day of that, though. But as we've been talking about each and every day, we're on that uh, Coachella Valley roller coaster of temperatures. So, yeah, a couple days of uh, hanging around that triple digit number of 100 degrees. Now we move back down. Let's look forward to that moving okay. back down. Details coming up. Thank you. We do begin across the world. Another deadly Russian attack, this time at a busy railway station in Kramatorsk. The death toll is now at 50, among them five children. Officials say nearly 100 others are wounded. They say this site is well known as the evacuation center for many Ukrainians. Officials say thousands were at that station when the missile strikes hit. Russia has denied that the strike on this railway station was intentional. 
Back here at home last night, the Palm Springs community finally came face to face with College of the Desert leaders for answers. More than two dozen urged officials to move forward with its plans, which took more than one hour expressing frustrations over the delay. Now, council members doubled down on why the West Valley campus was never finished. COD Board of Trustees Chair Ruben Perez says it was not a board decision, but made by the prior administration. But Mayor Middleton emphasized the importance of the campus and the support that hangs in the balance. Many of us are concerned that that support is at risk and we want to try to get it back. COD officials claim they've only lost a year of progress due to their reevaluation efforts. Meantime, the city council is still waiting for planning documents from COD to make public over the progress. But officials say they are committed to this project. The supermarket strike is off, for now at least, after months of negotiations between grocery store chains and workers. A deal is finally made. Last March, workers voted to strike after common ground couldn't be reached between both parties. Now, this would have impacted stores right here in the Valley, including Ralph's and Vaughn's. The new tentative agreement includes wage hikes, benefits, and improved safety. This is our chance for, for all the members to, in a way, come together and let the companies know that we're not going to stand for the activities that, that they're doing and we're not going to stand for a subpar contract this time around. But nothing is final until those members decide and vote. UFCW locals will vote on the tentative agreement next week. Meantime, Sunline Transit workers are voting to authorize a strike as well. Sunline Transit directors and union workers are currently working on contract negotiations. Employees are looking for an increase in pay and better working conditions. Their most recent contract expired March 31st. We've reached out to Sunline Transit's authority and they have no word yet on that strike. So weekend's upon us. We want to know, is it pool weather? Yeah, pool yeah. weather, yes. Or is it even too hot to be out there? Uh, well, yeah, a little toasty, but I think it's nice to hit the pool, okay. cool off a little bit. Yeah, And those who don't heat their pools, I mean, they'll be warmed is, up. Yeah, exactly. It's not going to be all that bad, comparatively speaking. Yes, it's above average for this time of year, being around 100 degrees this afternoon, but... Yeah, wait till July, August to yeah, say, oh, I we'll wish complain. I had that 100 degree back. True, yeah. true. Okay, outside. Agua Caliente Casino Cam, clear as a bell. 92 degrees already above average with the numbers. Uh, winds are light out of the north. That's where we're getting that dry air. That Santa Ana wind flow will be with us today. It'll pick up a little later on this afternoon, but you can see how dry it is. Remember this morning and last couple days ago, I said that number would be down to zero. Yeah, it's getting close. It's going to be extremely dry this afternoon. Okay, 63 right now, Big Bear, 78 degrees at uh, Yucca Valley Joshua Tree, already 84 at 29 Palms, 92. That's the uh, current reading at uh, Desert Hot Springs, 93,000 Palms in Palm Desert, 91 at the city of Coachella, 89. Kind of lagging behind, but they'll catch up in the next couple of minutes to get to that 90 degree mark at Indio. Winds have picked up since this morning, a little breezy, gusty through the San Gagonio Pass, but still not all that bad. Winds will be at their peak strength at around sunset, later today. Single digits around the uh, Coachella Valley as far as winds. Radar, yeah, dry weather pattern continues for the next few days. Nothing really going on in satellite. Clear skies over Riverside County. A little bit of moisture in the upper levels of our troposphere will rotate in late in the day today and could see maybe a wispy high cloud, but for the most part, clear skies. The ridge of high pressure, that's the culprit that bring those temperatures back up in the upper 90s, low 100s today uh, for the Coachella Valley and still a dry northeasterly flow into Southern California. Uh, dew points, like I said, will be in the, uh, well, 10 degree range, but uh, relative humidity, that's what will drop to around zero today. So very, very dry. Highs today include 99,000 palms, 100 in Indio today, a sunny 101 at Palm Springs this afternoon. Comfort Air three-day forecast still up there, upper 90s for the valley on Saturday with lots of sunshine, a couple high clouds maybe, but yeah, a lot of sunshine Sunday. The numbers slip. An approaching frontal boundary will play a role in dropping those temps. So we'll go about 25 degrees cooler than what we'll see today. And that'll happen next week. I'll let you know when that will occur. Full forecast and seven day on the way.
Thank you, Jerry. A bird scooter accident reportedly leaves a man paralyzed, and now he's taking legal action. Daniel Pena claims he was riding a bird scooter on the sidewalk when a broken end caused him to lose control. He hit his head against a tree. He is now suing the city of Los Angeles, but the scooter company is demanding a part of the settlement. Now, in the lawsuit, it says there was a failure to maintain that tree, which is owned and controlled by the city, and the condition of the sidewalk as well. Pena's attorney says the city is supposed to protect against lawsuits. The case is expected to go to trial this month. And now to our server of the week brought to you by Honda and Toyota of the Desert where one lucky server gets a $1,000 tip. Let's turn it over to Gil and Anthony. Thanks, Talia. Gil and Anthony here from Honda Toyota the Desert. We're ready to surprise Griselda at Joe Sushi. You ready to do this, Anthony? Let's go. Here we go, Griselda. Woo woo! Griselda, congratulations. You are this week's NBC winner of Server of the Week. Yes, Griselda. You are getting a $1,000 tip from Honda and Toyota of the Desert. Are you, are you surprised? Yes, yeah, very. You look at it. Let me tell you something. You have some very loyal customers and, a, and a beautiful people in the Coachella Valley emailed, they emailed into NBC and said that you had to be the winner. So uh, you have a lot of people that love you out there. And you, you are our server today, amazing job can see why uh, you, you were voted by the public. Griselda, what's the biggest tip you've ever gotten? <laughs> I'm not going to answer that. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do with the $1,000? Oh, wow. I'm going on a shopping spree. <laughs> shopping spree? <laughs> Oh, anything, else, anything else that you have to say? Oh, I just want to say thank you to everyone. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Round of applause for Griselda. Thank you. Congratulations and good job, guys. All right, still ahead on Midday News, the historic tour of Judge Katanji Brown Jackson continues. More on what the president is calling real change. And as we head to break, we leave you with this live look from our Walter Clark Highway 111 camera in Rancho Mirage. You're watching NBC Palm Springs News First.
Back shattering glass ceilings and making history. Katanji Brown Jackson's historic tour continues as she is honored at the White House. President Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris, who said Judge Jackson will inspire generations of leaders. The two leaders also called the Republican line of questioning verbal abuse and some of the most vile accusations. This is going to let so much shine, sun shine on so many young women, so many young black women, so many minorities, that it's real. It's real. We're going to look back, nothing to do with me. We're going to look back and see this as a moment of real change in American history. Jackson will be sworn in after Justice Stephen Breyer retires at the end of the term in late June or early July. Three. Two, one, zero. Ignition. Stop. Go Falcons. Go Dragons. Got speed. Axiom one. Last off, a historic moment to the International Space Station now underway. The crew and one former NASA astronaut, three paying customers, took off at 8.17 a.m. our time from uh, the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Now, if all goes planned as they have, they will arrive at the ISS Saturday morning, less than 24 hours after liftoff. The crew will then spend eight days on board the space station. This is the first crewed mission for Axiom Space. T plus 38 seconds into this. And now the Agua Caliente Curl. Entertainment Report, brought to you by Agua Caliente Casinos. A new Sonic the Hedgehog sequel, an action thriller, and a science fiction comedy. Here's Manny the Movie Guy with what to see this weekend. It's a sequel that we didn't ask for, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. But don't yawn, this one is actually worth the wait. <laughs> Jim Carrey returns as the big bad Dr. Robotnik, so does James Marsden as Sonic's adoptive father. And the manic charms of the first film are also intact. This is a sequel that kids will enjoy for its colorful energy, but it also has some quiet moments to give the film its heart. It's a gift for fans of the video game. And for that, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 gets 3 out of 4 Blue Hedgehog Kisses. Also in theaters, Ambulance. I like imagining visually how I can tell a story differently. Action director Michael Bay returns for Ambulance, a heist film that has Yaya Abdul-Mateen II desperate for money for his wife's bills. He asks the help of his adoptive brother, played by Jake Gyllenhaal, their getaway vehicle, an ambulance. I have a plan! Lots of high-speed pursuits follow, but since this is a Michael Bay film, the guy who gave us the Transformers movies, there's a lot of candy-colored shots complete with slow motion effects. But don't let those derail you from enjoying this non-stop action flick. The cast is inspired, the pacing is fast, and no one does kinetic visuals like Michael Bay. And for that, Ambulance gets three out of four chase scenes kisses. And finally, we have everything, everywhere, all at once. Move over, Spider-Man and Doctor Strange. We've found the rightful ruler of the multiverse, and it's Michelle Yeoh. The multiverse. Yeoh is Evelyn Wang, a struggling laundromat owner who finds herself in parallel universes. It's now up to her to learn the secret of the multiverse. From writers, directors known as The Daniels, Everything Everywhere All at Once benefits from its smart writing and the great cast headed by Yo. Watch for Jamie Lee Curtis as an IRS inspector. And for that, Everything Everywhere All at Once gets three and a half out of four, Finding Oneself Kisses. I'm Manny the Movie Guy for NBC Palm Springs News First, and it's my pick of the week.
And a good Friday late morning. Yeah, the weekend just hours away. Clear skies in our Walter Clark 111 uh, cam. Yesterday, I looked around the Coachella Valley to see if anybody made it to 100 degrees. Yeah, we all stopped short of that triple digit number. 99, the high yesterday in Palm Springs. We're going to be up there again today. So above average numbers, about 15 degrees above the mark. Already on our way. It's 94 degrees. And because of this number right now, it looks uh, pretty sure we'll get to uh, 100 degrees. Winds light, 4% relative humidity. It is a dry day today. 78 degrees, Yucca Valley, 92 already at Desert Hot Springs, Thousand Palms, 93. Indio, you have 91 at this hour, 83 at Banning. Winds, a little breezy around the San Gagonio Pass. Source winds out of the northeast. Santa Ana wind flow will keep us on the dry side around the Coachella Valley, and they will pick up a little later on today, but nothing strong enough to warrant a wind advisory. Radar and satellite quiet over Southern California. May see some high clouds move in. Just wispy high clouds late in the afternoon and evening. That's about it. Clear skies overnight. But here's the culprit that is pushing those numbers well above average, about 15 degrees above the mark uh, today, hovering around that 100-degree mark. And again, dry air will be with us uh, through the rest of today. We'll get a wind shift as we move into the weekend. But 99 today, 1,000 Palms, a sunny 100 at Palm Desert. 101 expected today for Palm Springs, 90s around the San Gagonio Pass. And it's that warm air advection kind of stirring things up. Those winds are pushing that warmth, that energy to the west of us. And that's why we still have that heat advisory. It expires at 6 o'clock later today for the Inland Empire. Overnight lows because of the warm weather today. Today will be above average, about 10 degrees above the mark. Upper 60s, low 70s for many of us late tonight. It'll be a pleasant evening once that sun sets to be outside. But we'll be back up there again. Many of us in the upper 90s, possibly a 100, 102. That high still with us, but an onshore flow will develop late in the day. So upper 90s, low 100s for the valley on Saturday afternoon. Then the numbers come down a little bit because of a trough that will be approaching us. It'll get a little gusty late in the day on Sunday, but uh, still above average, though with lots of low to middle 90s on Sunday afternoon. Okay, then changes come our way as we move into the weekend. We'll begin to see clouds uh, Monday into Tuesday, but until then, a few high clouds late today. Uh, Saturday, Sunday, mostly sunny skies for us in the Coachella Valley. And surface moisture remains dry, down to 0% relative humidity this afternoon. The numbers may come up by Sunday and Monday and Tuesday, but still dry for us. That'll prevent any rain from making its way into the Coachella Valley. Could see some showers late Monday into early Tuesday. Uh, surface map indicates a uh, frontal boundary moving through Southern California. Uh, rain, yeah, nothing for us in the valley. And light amounts scattered showers to our west. Again, late Monday into early Tuesday. And temps will drop between, uh, well, 25, maybe 30 degrees below what we're going to get today. So lots of middle 70s expected on Tuesday afternoon for highs. Uh, by the way, Coachella uh, Music Fest, weekend number one, a week away. Temperatures are going to be mild compared to Coachella Fests of the past. Remember the triple digits we used to see? Near normal numbers each day, Friday, Saturday, Sunday of next week. Okay, Comfort Air 70 forecast, close to 100 degrees today, tomorrow. Numbers back off on Sunday. Monday, winds gusty late in the day with an approaching front. Middle 80s Monday, 76 degrees for Palm Springs Tuesday afternoon.
about headbands, you usually think of a cute accessory, right? But when you hear about headbands of hope, you'll understand why that meaning is so much deeper. Here to explain is founder Jess Ekstrom. Welcome, Jess. Hi, thanks for having me. You're so welcome. We're glad to have you. First and foremost, for those who may not know, can you tell us about Headbands of Hope? Sure. So at Headbands of Hope, for every headband we sell, we donate a headband to a child with an illness. And over a million headbands donated and counting. Now, how did this come about? In the scrappiest way that it could. When I was in college, I was interning at Make-A-Wish. And I saw a lot of kids losing their hair to chemotherapy and being offered a wig or a hat when a lot of them just wanted to feel good about themselves and wear these colorful floral headbands. So uh, I call it the dumbest, smartest moment of my life being 19 years old. I was like, that could be me. I could provide headbands to kids with illnesses. So my junior year of college at North Carolina State, I started Headbands of Hope. My first order was from my mom. Uh, my second order was from my grandpa. And now we've come a long way since then. Yes, I understand you're celebrating 10 years and giving back over 1 million headbands to children. That's insane. Yes. It's insane. I can no longer say, you know, I'm a recent grad anymore <laughs> starting this 10 years later. Um, but it really has been so amazing to see how people respond to it and, and really be able to wear something fashionable for themselves, but more importantly, give back to a child that needs it. Festival season is almost here in the Valley. I'm sure you've heard of yes. Coachella and Stagecoach. And your headbands are a hit here as well. Yes, yeah. Well, we have flower crowns. We have some really fun jeweled headbands. Scrunchies have been really popular. The 90s are back. Uh, this is a, a collaboration we're actually doing with an organization called 21 Pineapples uh, that supports Down syndrome. And these ones have zippers on them. So while you're at a music festival and you have it on your wrist, if you want to carry around cash or a chapstick, definitely our zipper scrunchies are the way to go. All right, real quick, what's next for your company this year? We are continuing to expand and give back. We hope to get back into the hospital soon since we weren't really able to with the pandemic. But the most exciting thing that we've launched recently is our partnership with the NBA. And so we're official licensed uh, partner. And so we have headbands for a lot of the teams we've launched in stadiums um, and different sporting goods stores. And it's been really cool to work with the teams, their, their dance teams and their local hospitals to create, you know, give back activations with with the NBA. Jess Ekstrom, such great work you're doing and so exciting. You have a great future Thank ahead you. here. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me and telling my story. You're welcome. And we'll be right back.
Welcome back. It's time to rehash the hash, lighten things yeah, up this Friday. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, some of the holidays you may not know that are happening today that Hallmark does not make cards for, including... Yeah, Definitely dog, not this one. Not this one. I don't think you find this at uh, the, uh, the uh, Hallmark uh, store. Uh, dog Farting Awareness Day is today, yeah. But, uh, you know, probably the dog isn't pooting at all. It's people and, blaming it on the dog. We know, okay, yeah. we know better. Sure. Anyway, National Empanada Day. Mm -hmm. Yum. Huh? Okay. One of those hand pies, I like to call it. Yep. Uh, step into the spotlight day. It's all about you, folks. And Zoo Lovers Day. And uh, if you want to go to the zoo, you might want to stay right here in the Coachella Valley. Living Desert has the, what is that, the, the glow in the dark They thing? always have called? events going on. Yeah, what is it called? All I different events. Um, I don't know which one he's talking yeah, to. Yeah, it's uh, something about. going on at sunset tonight. Oh, um, okay. It's a glow in the dark kind of a thing. Anyway, all right. A forecast. Going to be hot today and tomorrow with temps hovering around that 100 degree mark. Glow but in the we park. we back off. Yeah. Yeah, go to the park exactly after sunset. It'll be awesome. But uh, we have a front moving through. Yeah, cooler weather Tuesday. No glow in the park. Glow in the park. Thank you.